Welcome everybody. This is all the footage from the week and a half leading up to our holiday before Fionn's takeover. We already did a video. That week was very busy with our second cut silage and TB test. This is all the extra footage that we just couldn't fit into that video. Hope you enjoy. Flaho. Fresh break for the milkers. They were causing a bit of trouble there along the houses. Ready to go through the wire, so. Anyway, we'll let them up here now and they can have all this fresh break. There's grass left there, but we're not too keen about it. There's Patch. All right, Patch. Nanny. Wednesday evening, getting the cows in after their hair test today. Lazy saw the farm. Come on, girls. Who? Taking an interest in the neighbor's ditch over there. We may go investigate. Come on, girls. Just over for a bit of a scratch. Our fly population is after exploding in the last few days with the heat. I don't know what's going on with my cows. They're running around with their tails up in the air. I don't know. All full of the joys this evening. Oh my girls. They're all running with their tails up. Don't know if they want to go back to the yard for milking. Like myself, these evening milkings, you'd love to drop them. Patch and Rosie having a big cute. <laughs> no fear in you, Patchy boy. So there's not. Our dog, Bo, who was officially a house dog, came with us for the TB test. He got absolutely ruined, so when we got home, I shaved him and washed him. Not the best job ever, but it was a lot better than he was. And our cat, Tibby, who was afraid of everything and everyone, kept a safe distance. Morning, everyone. Wednesday, the 31st of July, last day of July. So 20 past seven or something there, milking the cows. You can see that golden glow in the corner there. Cracking day weather yesterday when we were doing TB tests. Another warm one today, I think we'll get up to 24, 25 degrees. Ooh. Although the, the rain and the cold weather is coming back, I think over the weekend. Sure look, we'll make the most of what we can. Um, yeah, status on farm, cows are really tippling on with milk. That extra meal we fed them there where we're trying to get a grass to grow. Kept them up, so the light solids are good. Cell count is where it should be. Um, grass obviously got a massive lift there with the heat and the fertilizer, etc. So that's tipping along lovely now. So uh, we pulled the silage out and eased the meal back to two kilos at the moment. So the light with that. Um, yeah, what jobs on today? I think Fiona and Ella are going to the cinema. Fiona's going to the cinema with buddies. Ella's bringing them. Gareth's at camp. Cool camp. Uh, Oscar's probably going to have a day off after all the work yesterday. Mind the house. Um, I have to go and get new belts for the moor. I was mowing down uh, last seven acres of silage there yesterday evening, and it's extremely heavy grass and plenty of weeds and stuff in it. So broke two belts in the moor. So I need to go and get them sorted out this morning. But, uh, yeah, that's it. It's going to be a super sunny Wednesday. So enjoy it. Drive it on. So moor is a, an older type, an uh, older model of coon moor. It has four belts on it. Um, yeah, so it has to be ordered in from our local coon uh, dealer over there in Tullow. So um, he, he thought he had it in stock, but he didn't. So hopefully it'll be there tomorrow morning and uh, we'll get belts on and she'll be back in action. Thursday evening, 20 past four. First of August. Go and get the cows in. They are lazy, lazy cows in this warm weather. They're loving it. Up there on that block of wood, we had a indoor camera. We plugged in in the dairy room on the opposite side, just there on the block. And it stopped working a few weeks ago and the signal is really bad over here. It kept saying camera not detected. So I just thought it's uh, the signal's going really bad, but no, the camera's gone. So, surely to God, if it fell down, we would have noticed it and we were hosing, or else I'd not. Pigeon came and got it. But we have our outdoor version up now. Amazon buy. Morning, everyone. It is uh, Friday the 2nd of August, just about 10 to 7. Started milking here. D day on our TV tests. We're breeding the cows now at 9 o'clock. We have passed our TB test. <laughs> Joe was away at his Junior B Championship football match. I got locked in in my friend's house for two hours because her electric gates wouldn't open. Fionn milked 
and Oscar walked the oh, cows in. Oh, me, Oscar, down here at the farm. I'm just getting all the cows in. Anyways, I'm gonna go get Honey Patch. Stop running! Honey Patch. Stop, you're not allowed. Uh, wait, because I just like making head under. That's not too hard. Oh. <clears throat> Evening, everyone. Saturday evening, 3rd of August. I'm uh, here in my football gear. Home about 15 or 20 minutes there from our second round of Junior A Championship. Cows walking out in the background there. Fionn, ledge ball, um, has them milked. Lost. I didn't have the calls by getting a black card, which means you're put off for 10 minutes. Cynical fouling. But, uh, <laughs> so Fionn has the cows out or heading out, milked, and when they're heading out there now, down to the football field to a fresh break of grass. Uh, water pressure is a bit low there. The truck is empty, so I have to investigate that now and see what's going on. It's a super sunny Saturday evening, thankfully. Um, there's rain, good bit of broken weather forecast over the next couple of days. We'll see if we get any of that now. We still have some bales to make, so we'll try and get them made before we get away. Got me more back in action there earlier on. Um, sorry, I'm grimacing a bit. I have a very sore ankle, I thought, just to myself. I think it's an old age injury. I hurt myself today. Would yeah, go home and catch up with Ellen? Haven't seen her. Have I seen her at all today? I don't think I've seen her at all today. So, um, yeah, busy. Ships passing in the wind, isn't that, or in the night, isn't that what they say? Anyway, I hope everyone's enjoying the sunshine on a sunny Saturday in the bank holiday weekend. Driving on. Morning everyone. Sunday morning, cows coming in. It's about 20 past six, Sunday the 4th of August. Back to the bit of rain. Plenty forecast in the next couple of days. Uh, staying mildish, kind of. Cows a bit noisy. Small but nice, you might have left them a bit tight on grass last night. We'll remedy that now today. Okay, to, taking the opportunity to draft honey and patch out from the milkers. It's kind of presented itself now, hopefully it's going to work for me. Although honey is playing wise to what's going on. We just have to be on top of our game here now. You know, you, look, if the gate's closed there, you can't go in there. Honey, ah, ah, down the yard, down the gate. Come on, go girl. Come on, down the lane. Down the lane, sir. Come on, Patchy. Good luck. Let's go, guys. Come on, let's go. She enjoyed being with the cows because she was getting a pull of meal the odd day. So she'd be a bit annoyed about that. But uh, I think the walking wasn't suiting her. I loaded her very close to the yard this morning, but the long walk up to the uncles wasn't really suiting her. She's going here to the front paddock now. And um, taking take it handy and put on weight. Run there with the lammy jams. You see them boys over there in the corner. Take it handy, honey. Patching the lambs. Sizing each other up. Honey's not too bothered, obviously. Need a second pack of chops. We're doing a quick wash of the hairs in this thing, 1980s style. We're going to get the girls' hair oh, trimmed. Put you your head down, Myrna. Myrna, I need to wipe my eyes. You never said that. My mother and father are coming down to mind the house next week while myself and Joe are in Texas. So, you know, when my mother's coming down, the house just be pull apart. Jobs that I usually wouldn't do. Cleans of fridges and dust in here and there and iron and bed sheets. Never iron a bed sheet unless Mammy's coming. So Sunday evening, the 4th of August, I'm over here in the out farm, loading up our meal bins. <clears throat> We're weaning pellet from Quinn's. Just fed the beefy ladies there, lads and ladies. The dairy heifer calves are going to be joining them now first thing tomorrow morning. So all the calves are going together. That's, it's on, we cut silage off the lower part of that there. Obviously it's growing back with a lot of weeds and thistles and stuff. But in over the ditch here is uh, after grass, another half or another five, six acres of aftergrass that's going, all the cows are going on that there now for the next week to 10 days, hopefully, and make it easier feeding when we have them all together. Um, 
myself and Alan will be away for a few days, so it'll be easy on Fionn and my dad and Paddy to uh, just whip over here, feed them in of extra trucks going out now. And then when we come back, we'll go through all the weights and uh, weigh everything and we'll divide them up according to their weight and we'll see how we go. Twenty to five on Monday afternoon. Joe's stopping the traffic down the other end. I'm stopping at this end. And the boys are getting them across. We're getting all this grazing out of the way before we head off on holiday. So they're just on the milking platform on the one side of the road. What are you, Patrick? When he wants to go with the milkers to get more meal. Uh, Joe said he's going to move one of the wagyus in where so that they're not all under lonesome. They're in there with the sheep. Bye. Bring us snacks. Need to go home, wash me tan off, get ready for me holliers. Joe rings and says the bales of straw have unexpectedly turned up. Should be home packing anyway. Why does this, things like this always happen? Oh, Anyway, he'll get them done, hopefully. No accidents. Body's rushing. We were up to our next, but seeing as the three of us were in the yard, myself and Fiona convinced Joe to do the Instagram transition travel reel with us. So we literally done it in like a minute and a half before the contractor came back the next load. It was some crack. This is Fenton Agri Limited Contractors. They supply us with a straw each year from a local farm. So myself and Joe are going on holiday early in the morning and he got a phone call an hour ago that the straw was coming. I'm like, oh my God. Imagine this had happened yesterday. Or sorry, not yesterday. Imagine this had happened tomorrow. Anyway, granddad would have got the manage, this would have been under pressure, but still. Glad it happened now. Hopefully there will be no accidents. And Joe won't be rushing too much. And I gave him the long lecture about farm safety. Joe should have moved the L4 out of his way, huh? Remember Phil used to have a little toy one of these when he was little. Modern inventions, aren't they class? And people think farmers are just spending money willy nilly. I saw an article during the week actually really annoyed me saying that lads went down and got loads of uh, new machinery and stuff going off the house and then 22 milk price and everything like you have to give two or three years accounts and we went to get a loan and they were not just taking your two or three years accounts they were looking at a milk price forecast and they were looking at a fairly low so whoever wrote that article it's clearly not a farmer needs to flip it head checked and you know what it's doing nothing for farmers morale like, did they not see the 10 suicides in what, 10 or 11 days back in the spring? I think this kind of shite helps scapegoating and blaming. Pub counter talk, absolute bullshit. And that's all it's driving and people think that it's a farmer's fault that they're in debt. You make a product and you work and you don't get to set your own price. And that means then like last year when our inputs increased greatly, you can't just increase your price pass it on to your customers so that you can break even. The farmer, unlike most other industries, has to take the entire burden debt on themselves. We're price takers and not price makers. You have no control and that's what really affects the mental health. You can't plan for it. And people say farmers moan for no reason. And Dad just went off to the airport on their flight to Texas. Finally free. 
finally free. We were so delighted to get the opportunity to go away. We had saved up and paid for it last year and after a very tough spring, we really need the break. We'll do a travel vlog probably on our next video. Hope you enjoy, see you again. And if you haven't already, go and watch Fionn's amazing takeover video. We're just so proud of him. Thanks for all the amazing feedback. We actually can't believe the response we've had to our radio interview on the Ray Darcy show on RTE. If you want to go and listen back to it, it's on Spotify and on their website. 